right. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing this evening? What's up, Nike? Uh, James Clark, Setsuna, Corey Johnson, Lawrence Tong, Eduardo, Arrow Moose, Corey Johnson. Oh, I already said Corey Johnson. <laughs> Adam Vermillion, David Kanan, Andrew Cummings. Uh, Zero Wings, Firestone, Kid Robot Builder, Mike Jones. How are things out in Shoreline, Washington? Are you close to the uh, fires at all? Uh, Jason Galloway, Pathologically Cute, Artie, Van Ham, Mr. Trashcan Bob. What's going on, everybody? Hey, Metalhead. So, where do we start tonight? So, I'm going to start, I guess, with the... Uh, well, first off, I'm building this guy tonight. The uh, Flame Toys Optimus Prime G1 version. I have yet to build a Flame Toys kit, so I'm, I'm really excited about cracking into this guy and uh, giving this a try and doing something other than a Gundam for, I guess, probably first model I've done other than a Gundam in a really, really long time. So that's pretty cool. We'll be giving away a uh, the Flame Toys Devastator, which is actually a pretty pricey kit. I probably should have checked that price before I decided I was giving it away. So uh, that will be a very nice prize. And uh, I also have, I'm gonna be giving away two of these brand new PVC patches that we got in. Need <laughs> the intro theme song. Yeah, I, I saw your comment earlier. I'm not sure if that's copyright friendly or whatever. Maybe I could. Maybe I should just sing it, and you guys will all leave the stream. We've got the uh, PVC patches that we, we came out with this week. These are, are pretty cool. They've got a Velcro backer. These are up on the website right now. I've got one on my backpack. I plan on uh, putting one. i got a couple hats that have Velcro patches on them. And uh, I don't know. I'm super happy with how those came out. Um... And if we hit 150 concurrent viewers, we'll be giving away a pair of God Hands. These are mine that I use, but I uh, hope we get a chance to give one of those away. We're at, I think, 34, 35 viewers, something like that right now. 41. Depends on which screen I look at. So, uh, if you guys want to share this, if you hit the like button, that'll hopefully help get some more, more bodies in here and uh, give us a better chance of giving away a pair of God Hand nippers as well. Uh, what else is up? I guess the one other thing is if you are in search of a kit Where's my finger at? Up here at the top, Live10 That uh, code is good for 10% off at MechaWarehouse.com tonight until at least 11 p.m. Eastern uh, So definitely take advantage of that if you are on the market for a kit We got some new stuff in this week put, I don't know, half dozen, dozen new items or so restocked and added to the site. And uh, next week we're going to have an even bigger restock if I can get through all of it. We've got, I think, four pallets in late last week, and I've been uh, working through those as fast as I can. But even with the extra space, four pallets is a lot of kits. Can you put patches on his backpacks? Uh, you can put them on anywhere because they do come with the uh, the hook and loop backer that you can glue or sew onto anything that you would want to put a patch on. Um, I know I've got I've got a few hats that basically they came with a PVC patch of whatever brand that so it's got you know a hook and loop you know three two by three or so. It'll fit the patch that you can just literally just stick it on a, on a hat. So anybody who's been wondering or wanting a hat, you could make one for yourself, basically. The backpack's got a, a bunch of uh, hook and loop on it. There's other items out there. The manual's in a little baggy here. Stickers. Uh, let's see. First kit since the Unicorn Marathon. Yeah, first kit since that, Banham. But it's also the uh, probably the first non-Gundam kit I've done since getting back into model stuff. 
It's been years. Man, it was a little bit different here. It's not too bad. This actually starts with the arms. Interesting. Bought my first Haro today and painted gold. Cool, David. Nice. We actually just got a ton of Haros in. They're not uh, up on the site yet, but they'll be back on. Uh, they'll be up on the site. I'm gonna restock um, probably late next week. I'm gonna try not to yell for likes like last week. Nice. A couple of Viking. I think I turned on the wrong video. I see Nick, but he's not building the FA Unicorn. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done anything new. And this is very new. So, very different. I thought they were just Velcro. Good evening, Nick. Work on, on Expo Saws be special coating. Nice. Yeah, so they're they're Velcro, so they but they come with the, the loop. So this is the hook side over here. And then it comes with the little pre-cut um, backer. So if you've got something that already has hook and loop on it, you can just stick it right on and it's convenient. And if uh, if not, you could stick this on. So I, I'm almost thinking like a toolbox or something would be pretty cool to just super glue that that a backer on too and then you can switch the color patch whenever you want. I guess be relieved to finally be building something else. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I already read that, didn't I? Erebus, I need to message you about the wing for a cop. I think want to pre-order. Nice. Those instructions in English. They look look like they're English. Yeah. All English. No, no Japanese on them at all, actually. Okay, so what did I want? G and E. I think are the runners I need to start here. Which are probably blue. My desk is still a huge mess. How is everybody doing, by the way? I probably should have asked. Site for three on Wednesday, so I need to eat one. I'm not sure if it'll happen before Wednesday. Eduardo, is this your first non gundam kit? My first for mecha stuff, yeah. I built when I was a kid, I built some sort of plane, I think. And I think I built a ship one time. I didn't paint them, and I probably did a really bad job. This is my first Gundam non Gundam kit recently. That is G. Let me get E one two. Is that? What's in color as well? Quality. Yeah, it seems to be pretty standard these days for for kits to be in color, or at least for these kind of kits. G nineteen. 14 and 5. I don't really take my time on this. I think I plan on painting it at some point. So I gotta be aware of how I might be taking it apart later too to paint. I actually partially assembled my uh, Leo last night get ready to do top coat before I do decals on it doing great about to eat dinner then might work on my RG Zaku 2 nice games are what's up Samuel Louis Wong doing homework but great otherwise you'll you'll pull through Louis I believe in you what's up Victor those bits seem hefty. These are pretty big hands. I think this is going to be kind of like putting together high grade, but I think it's a little bigger than a high grade. Based on these hands and such. Where is my sanding sponges? Here we go. 
Which one is the Leo? Not much fun that got into a stream. Yeah, welcome, Samuel. The Leo is the uh, the Gundam Wing grunt. I've got one painted. I painted it tan and brown. It's got a Dober gun that I stole from a flight type P Bandai kit. I'm gonna put decals on it, and then I think I am going to uh, try to weather it. Probably my first weathered kit. Interesting starting with the hands. Painting SD Barbatos right now, just finished priming. Nice. Which one? There's like a bunch of different uh, Barbatos. It's like the SDEX or the, the newer SDCS. Hopefully my stomach holds out too, by the way. I started feeling really crummy like 30 minutes ago. I think I'm doing fine now. I think it was just something I ate. Got all like belchy and stuff. Insides felt like they were trying to come out. I hate that feeling. I felt that way last night too. do a lot more painting myself actually I think I enjoy it it's just really hard to get set up sometimes and it's not as easy to just pick something up and put it down when you're painting than just snapping a kit together I think tomorrow I'm gonna top coat the uh, the Leo put a gloss coat on there so I can do decals later and I think my death site hell is on the queue too. I'll put a uh, nice gloss coat on that sucker as well so I can work on decals on that whenever I've got downtime between other other projects. I want to start spending more of my time building again now that things seem to be getting better Got a little bit more time to myself now that I can separate warehouse life from home life a little bit I'm definitely feeling like I'm more present at home and a little less distracted Although I'm still a little distracted at times it's kind of hard not to be it's like the bigger than 1144 if I recently built that same kit the only thing I didn't like was the stickers yeah I wonder if there's a water slide or something does anyone want to make optimus or autobot uh, water slides i feel like there have to be got lucky there almost dropped that on the floor i'd love to do some water slides on this guy probably paint it he was young, was so cute, just built it a couple days ago. Nice. I mean, you just need a dessert from your wife. I think dessert was the problem. My wife picked up some donuts after my son uh, had a soccer game earlier, and she picked up some donuts. We had a few leftovers, so we had those for dessert. And I think the donut I have just didn't sit well with my insides. I just kind of rebelled. Save month. Tenez. Hello, how's the night going? I'm currently building RG Crossbones and playing Monster Hunter between breaks. Nice. Painting is so relaxing. I don't know if I'd go that far with the airbrushing. I feel like I get... If I'm not in a groove, I get really frustrated. <laughs> but I think I need to paint more to be make it easier to get in the groove. Right, when you paint and then don't paint anything for four months, it makes getting good at painting difficult RG crossbones is small I've heard that I must have some tiny parts finish the problems gonna before the show I think I'll break down my shatter for painting nice I got one of those I put on my backlog recently now my attic is just uh, just storage for my backlog 
like for real this time. <laughs> Samuel Hartwell, what grit sanding sponges are those? I think they range from about three, four hundred up to about fifteen hundred. I, I had a little sheet that I kept handy, but I don't see it. I've forgotten what the details were. I'm still waiting on that bonus check and planning on using it to buy some God Hands from your store. Though if I'm lucky time, maybe I'll put it towards some HG kits instead. Fingers crossed for you, man. Maybe, maybe you get lucky. Jose Montanez, yes, Corey Norris as soon as I opened it. Corey, has anyone used Delphi decal water slides? I use Delphi all the time. They're my, my go-to. I think I've used more of their water slides than any other brand of water slides so far. And they've been pretty good for me. It's one of the reasons we carry them. I wanted to carry them a long time ago. They only started uh, doing the wholesale thing during the whole COVID situation. Which was a nice break for me. Can we get those pads from your website? We I don't carry 3M right now. I need to find a uh, contact over at 3M because I, I would like to carry some. But we do have Tamiya, uh, I think are the, the I want to say they're probably the most economical. We also have Godhand and Madwork sponges, which are a little bit nicer brands. I haven't used any of those ones myself actually, but uh, maybe somebody in the, uh, the chat here might be able to uh, let you know how those have been. That thumb looks kind of weird, but I guess that works. It's a really interesting hands. Oh, you can build all the different handsets. Well, I'm not doing that right now. I'll build a left hand and a right hand, and I'll save the other ones for later. But I can do those off stream. G20, 13, and 6. built but it's great articulation nice good to know better painting every time I paint just takes practice practice is big reps is a lot of, of any skill right how big is your backlog that games are it is probably somewhere between 20 and 30 kits I think a lot of them are actually from the really early days of mecha warehouse where I bought like one each of a whole bunch of kits when I was using Amazon and there were a bunch of kits that I, at the time, couldn't sell through Amazon because Amazon had them gated. And I basically bought everything I bought back then based on, like, eh, it would be the end of the world if I had to uh, just put this kit on my backlog. And uh, so I ended up doing that. So that's most of them. And then there's been some more kits recently that have you know, things in dents or something, a kit comes in a little bit scuffed up that I know I've wanted, so I throw it in the backlog. Are you liking the Flame Toys model kit so far? So far, so good. I mean, I've sanded, this is my like fourth piece here, so. What will really be telling is when I get to like the arms and the chest and all the articulating stuff to see how that goes together, but. Also interested in those little standing sponges on your site. Not these specific ones, but we do have Tamiya, God Hand, and Mad Work sponges on the site. I need to get 3M. 
I bought these in like bulk back when I first started the hobby, way before Mecha Warehouse was even a thought. And I just have so many of them. But I should figure them out because they're, they're a good they're a good option, I think. And they're probably a little cheaper. Turn the music down a little bit. Is the music... Let's try that. Let me know if the, uh, the audio levels are better for you. Save me a heart well. I need to get some of those. Look like they're... It would take away the excess flash and the parts. I've had good luck with, with them. I need to really compare against Madworks and God Hand and Tamiya. Looks like David Cannon likes Madworks. Cora is a Tamiya fan. Andrew Cummins, this is your first build night in the warehouse? Or are you doing these from home? Definitely from home. I mean, it's late. It's a Saturday. This is my home office. I want to take some of the attic space where the warehouse was and build a new office up there at some point and I'll probably build a better studio for this stuff either either as part of that new office or or in addition to the office I think because I see doing this in the long term and I don't want it to drive to the warehouse to do it I mean literally like an hour and a half ago hour ago we were doing family movie night and spending time together so this is my little little diversion for myself. If you had to compare Gumpel Grey, what would you say the most familiar with the Flame Toys kit? I, it's so far, it looks kind of like a high grade. More or less. Just maybe a little bigger than the typical high grade. later you guys suggest MG unicorn or RG unicorn the RG unicorn has been pretty well received I just built one the full armor version if you're a glutton for punishment on building weapons over and over again I'd think the full armor RG is pretty nice but I think the RG is supposed to have better posability or at least be able to hold itself up better from what I've heard. I don't think the MG Unicorn is super popular. You by chance see my awesome tape job in that padded envelope yet, sir? I have not. I haven't checked. I should check the tracking, see where it actually is. The RG crossbones. Uh, okay, let's see. How's the video editor hiring going? Not well. <laughs> says Gunpla. I've got a ton of people contacting me regarding remote work, but I really, really want somebody in person if I can get it because my only real complaint so far has been if there is a complaint with how I'm doing it with the video editor remotely now is that turnaround time is kind of important to me. The ability to have an idea or want to respond and react to something that has just happened in the Gumpla world quickly is kind of important to me. But right now, sometimes it can take the better part of a week to get a video from filmed to edited and ready to go. And sometimes the uh, last minute changes and stuff are really hard there's been a few times like thumbnails and stuff I've just rolled with stuff that was good enough but I would have liked to change something if I had more time and hadn't been seeing it for the first time you know half hour before it was time to release the video so that and it'd be nice to have somebody help with the actual filming itself and not just the editing can let somebody else set up the camera and get that all ready to roll be easier to coordinate and brainstorm ideas. I think just in person makes a lot of sense. And I would love to have somebody who could help me out in the warehouse from time to time. In addition, you know, they're waiting for something to upload or export or whatever that they could uh, help me tackle some stuff. But 
but so far no such luck so and the uh, the thing I found out my, my whole game plan had been to post an ad on Facebook but apparently Facebook ads that involve employment have special rules and you can't target the same way so I can't target the same Gumpla audience uh, anyway like how's the commute between home and the warehouse hopefully it's not too far it's about 30 minutes which is it's a double-edged sword it's long enough that I don't uh, just pop over real quick to do stuff so it does give me some some work-life separation a little bit but I mean that's that's like an hour every day of driving that I would rather have for doing something else A2 and B1. What's B1 look like? Gray. Been able to hire people yet? Nothing on the hiring yet. I think you just heard the, uh, the story there. <clears throat> Already, Nick, have you watched Cobra Kai yet? I have not. I wasn't that big of a Karate Kid fan, actually. It's an okay movie, but I wasn't a fanatic like some people were, so it hasn't really been a priority for me. Okay, so it's not here. Where is it? That must be in this box, this bag. The last one it's gotta be, I guess. Ninja Snag, HD Hacker, and I need a custom for 16 recent mice. I got the new Red God hand, but I missed that extra small blade. Yeah, I think the the ultimate ones are are really nice for what they do. There we go, is that the one we need? Finishing touches in my GTO red comet exactly too. I'm having trouble deciding weapon reload out. Or hey, sorry I'm late. What's up, dude? Search light a little late. I made it. It's G1 Optimus. Watch the arms when setting them. The peg from the chest is a smidge too wide and stretches, stresses the plastic of the shoulder. Okay, I'll definitely watch out for that. That can chat in a few weeks. Hope everyone's good. What's up, Dylan? I imagine you're gonna have kids signing up for your karate school wanting you to teach them how to fight like in Cobra Kai. I don't know, man. We actually I kids is like my the bane of my existence for recruiting for the dojo. We've got more adults than kids, actually. There's just too many uh I don't know what you want to call them. Too many like commercial schools in town that are, uh, you know, have like hundreds of kids. Oh, these are numbered steps, so I should go in order. Let me just put this off the side then. So I should get B16 and A23. Most adults would want to sign up for BJJ rather than karate. They do. I think there's a there's a niche for mostly kind of older dudes that really just don't want to crawl around the ground. And I say that as someone who studies jiu-jitsu. Or at least did before all this crap started. <laughs> Cobra Kai versus Chuck Norris versus Sagata Sanchiro. Clearly Chuck Norris, no contest.
like we're about halfway there to that 150 for the uh, god hands. Steven Seagal. Oh man, no comment. Willis, what's up? fit in there I didn't think that was going to I guess it's a polycap kind of thing okay so I need a two five <clears throat> automat what's up adamant I just figured out what that was Thought you were some sort of weird automaton thing because my brain apparently is not working this evening john claude van damme managed to pull off a pretty good live action guile the only thing about john claude van damme if you haven't seen it yet you should look at the uh i think it's a volvo truck commercial that's got john claude van damme in it that is pretty impressive. The fact that they could pull off that that uh, video is amazing. So if you you haven't, you should look that up. Got some undergating on this. It's pretty nice. He basically puts like I think it was supposed to be a commercial talking about their like the control and precision of the trucks or something like that. Yeah, it's a split. He's got like one foot on each truck and they just gradually pull away from each other. And he does a like a full split with one one foot on each truck. <clears throat> Pretty impressive. Cody, hey Nick, how's the build going so far? Good, Cody, how are you today? It's definitely a nice change of pace after doing nothing but full armor unicorn for the past like two months. Weeks, I liked his show he had in Prime where he was an undercover spy. I had no automation here. Jake77, thank you for the subscribe. I noticed today I'm getting close to, we're getting close to 900 on the channel, I think. Which means 1,000 is not that far away. It's exciting times. So thanks, Nick, for all you do on Discord. I managed to get some wins on the trading post. Nice things in uh, well trading post. I see. Nice. I'm glad you're able to uh, make use of that. I 
Okay. <clears throat> A29. I feel like this step should be like two or three different steps. Probably would be in a Bandai manual. Just a lot of parts involved in this one step. It's like the entire arm is just one giant exploded diagram. B1, 1. Then A2, 1, and A2, 6. Okay, I just ordered MG Wing EW yesterday. Nice. Adam Ant, thank you for the subscribe. 872 from what I see. Yeah, it's growing slowly but surely. Seems like the stream is most often the biggest contributor to uh, subs. It's like every, every Saturday is usually the spike in the week. been watching we started uh, season two of Jack Ryan on Amazon and watching that with my wife for like three or four episodes in pretty good it's got me got me hooked finally kind of have time to watch stuff again too no more late nights packing and stuff Nick, is this kit HG or RG? It's not actually great. It's not even Bandai. It's uh, the Flame Toys Optimus Prime G1 version. So in terms of how the kit goes together, it appears to be kind of like a slightly larger high grade. We have the MG Winged Gundam Zero EW for cop for pre-order soon. It's already up for pre-order Nike, um, but we don't do pre-orders on the website currently. It's all manual, so if you want to pre-order one, you just shoot me a note, and I can invoice you for it. We'll hopefully start doing pre-orders on the website soon. I just I want a few more rounds of pre-orders under my belt before I do that because we've had a couple of little gotchas so far um, the uh, Hello Kitty RX-78 has been the biggest one somehow Bluefin decided not to send me any on their first batch in I think it was because when I ordered them at the time I was small and so my order was at the bottom of the queue compared to a lot of big players but kind of kills me because we're only gonna we're gonna get them in uh this coming week i think and we should have had them like three months ago so once i know all that stuff i'll open up pre-orders a little bit wider how much is the new wing zero verka oh, what is it i should know off the top of my head Why don't if you decide to make a new challenge coin, we hold a contest for a suggested design? I don't know. I don't want to commit to anything like that. I want orders. I want products. We can use a 10% off. Yeah, we, I do 10% off on pre-orders by default. The wing zero. Why am I? There we go. 
$57.99 plus whatever discounts. If you pre-ordered, it'd be 10% less than that. So what's your first impression of the Optimus? It's good so far. I'm, I'm enjoying it, but that could just be because it is not a unicorn. But so far, so good. I want to see how this thing moves once it's all together, though. Already new coin. Did you sell out of the first coin already? Yeah, we did actually. I think I sold the last coins this week. We probably won't do another design until sometime into 2020, probably in like the April time frame. I think that like anniversary of the Mecha Warehouse name is going to be the uh, the approximate time of year that we roll out a new coin. I might do one every year. I think there's enough interest. The big question will be whether I do a run of 100 again or if I make more. Or... Okay, it's not bad at all. Yeah, it's not too bad. So if you pre-order, it's 10% off, but you can use a discount code for that 10% off. No, it's it's you get that 10% off without needing another thing. Some people don't know about the discount codes. But by default, they're, they're 10%. It's not, not 10 and 10. I pre-order for number one coin. Oh, not again. Stream's got to be healthy, right? Looks healthy on this end. Pre-order for number one coin. So we'll probably last time we we let people request numbers. I'll probably do something similar when we do a round two. Interesting thing would be how many to make. We did a hundred the first time around, and uh, what, I think we had them back in like June is when they showed up. So the question is: is uh, do we make 150 or 200 this time, or do we stick with 100? I want them to be somewhat limited, but not so limited that people can't get them. Still a coin talk. Already, the recap is that the coin is uh, is sold out. We've got no more coins left. We do have patches, though. <laughs> it looks like it's frozen me, but it's just Nick stopping to read comments. Yeah, I have to do that every once in a while. It's pesky comments. Okay, so I need 828. <clears throat> and then B11. <clears throat> 200, sorry, nice for 178. Crazy how still he can be like a ninja. There you go, watching this in Stanley Cup game. Is the Stanley Cup still going on? I thought someone was watching Stanley Cup last, last week. someone win yet not yet oh that reminds me i probably should do this first uh drawing soon we drawn for the uh, flame toys devastator so that's uh it's actually i think a much bigger kit than this one although box wise it's probably not that much bigger i don't know bigger ish And the cup is a best of seven series. I guess there must be a day off, travel day, or something somewhere in the, the series. Then
Okay. Okay, so it's the back. All right, A210. And then B24. Steve Hummel, sorry I'm late to the party. No problem, Steve. From what I've seen, the dev stream is only slightly bigger than the other Flame Toys kits, so it's not to scale. That's kind of disappointing. Like what kind of paint do you use? I use, um, whatchamacallit, I use the, uh, the Vallejo Mecha color that we carry in the store. That's my go-to. I like it because it's basically non-hazardous. So I don't feel too bad about spraying it in the house with, uh, you know, kids in the house and stuff. Obviously they're not right next to it, breathing it in, but. So actually, this is probably a good point. So let's, let's uh, draw, I'm gonna pull for three different things, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna draw a number for the Devastator. I will draw a number for the blue patch, and I will draw a number for the uh, subdued patch as well. So how about everybody throws a number in the chat between uh, let's say one and 250. One and 250. Throw your number in the chat. Remember one number per person. Don't post a second number if someone takes it. Again, do not post a second number if somebody else picks the same number as you. Um, we will deconflict that by coin toss or random number generator or whatever we have to do. And I want to keep things simple so we don't have to worry about anyone appearing that they're cheating or anything like that. We still need what another seventy, I think, in order to hit the, uh, the threshold for the god hands. Still got time. person. <laughs> How's that? You can join twins or something? Stop and draw this number in a minute here. Not gonna draw, okay. I don't know how you'd both be the same, technically the same person. Identical twins, maybe? Pegs here, so we can get this back apart.
There we go. Got an arm. Okay, let's put down. Time in the chat there. I'm gonna draw a number between one and 250. So let's get that random number generator up. Okay, so this first draw is for Devastator. 207. 207. Do we have a 207? I don't want top chat. Why is it default to top chat? Anyone see a 207? I do not myself. I'm gonna draw for the uh, the blue patch next. Anyone wants to check? Anyway, this is 86 for the blue patch. I don't think I saw an 86 when I was scrolling through, but just check real quick, and then I'll draw for the 10 patch and uh, whatever. Whatever hasn't been won, which looks like it might be every. Oh, no, Victor! Victor got an 86. Alright, so Victor's got the blue patch. So that's one. And uh, for the tan patch now, whoops, is number 44. Gumpla Viking has got 44. So I don't think there's a second 44, so I think Gumpla Viking gets the, uh, the tan patch. Sweet, so we just got the Devastator to do now. So we'll we'll try again for the uh, Devastator in a little bit. Two wins pretty early here. Well, I guess I waited longer than I probably should have did that draw. The same victor as last time? I think it might be. You two can get a patch if you want. They're up on the website. They're six bucks a piece. Great, great item to throw in with another order. If you're ordering anyway, we got plenty of them right now. For the moment. So I can escape them here. What I miss? We just drew. We uh, no winner on the Devastator, but. I, uh, we do have winners for each of the two patches, though. The plastic, I feel, has got a slightly more toyish feel to it. Switch it off. 
The temperature swings got anybody else going crazy. So I think I gotta build one more arm the same way. Another A2 runner. Ah, there it is. I don't know if everywhere else has been the same. It was like freezing like a week ago, not even a few days ago. And now it's like pretty darn warm again. It'd be nice if it could just gradually shift to the fall instead of shift back and forth rapidly over and over again. I don't mind either or, it's just the back and forth. Not knowing one day to the next what it's gonna be, it's just crazy. California is finally cooling off at night. That's good. I was like begging my wife to turn the heat on the other day and she's like, I don't wanna switch from the AC because it's gonna be hot again in like three days and she was totally right. Will be an interesting one to paint, I think. Modern times, the weather is schizophrenic. <laughs> Bipolar, at least. still hot in South Texas. Is it ever not hot in South Texas? I'm not trying to be funny. I just, I honestly don't know. Cold and hot. Welcome to England. I know I used to live up there. Yep. It's, it's not really anything different than normal, I guess. It's just still frustrating. I'm pretty sure we had a frost a few days, like a week ago. It's like warm out again. It's hot. It's crazy. With snows in Texas, there's a problem. <laughs> I would bet, I don't know how bad the drivers are here when it snows the first time of the year. I imagine it must be horrendous when it snows down there. coming Wednesday storm decided to move to Monday instead so my first day at the new job should be fun congrats on the new job what are you doing now if you don't mind me asking searchlight uh, and Teddy any transition between season and, and New England could be a crapshoot yep very true Texas doesn't have seasons, just different flavors of summer and a mild fall every couple of years. Oscar, Nick, when are you going to have Grey Primer available? Which brand? I'm assuming you mean Vallejo. I'm, uh, I'm planning on trying to place paint orders <clears throat> early next week. I've been gradually going through everything and trying to restock stuff. And paint is the next on the priority list. So we'll be restocking some various paints soon. 
I don't know what's available and not available at my distributors, but um, we will be getting something soon. Could be a paint tech for an auto shop. Nice. Osmond Charles, you're going to pick up Vallejo shifters? I think I should at some point. I should see if they have them. I want to start expanding what we carry for different types of paints and stuff. Like we, I need to get the uh, the entire Mr. Color line in instead of just a limited selection. So hopefully that will uh, come relatively soon. Let's see what's available when I place my paint orders this coming week. Assuming I get to it, I really gotta get through checking in this giant four pallet shipment that came in. I'm like a pallet and a half into it already. But I want that whole, uh, I need the whole order pretty much ready to go by the end of the week for listing restocks and stuff. check on some Mr. Color Paint. Well, I really gotta look then. The problem with some of the paints, especially the imported paints, is it doesn't seem like you can get all the colors at the same time very regularly. So it's hard to restock the entire line. But I'll see, see what I can find. The music did, uh, did it go up? The song seems louder or something. Just pull that down a little bit. Hopefully that helps. Leo Shift is really good paints. Use electric blue to intense violet for my MG camphor. I should play with those. Those sound like they'd be pretty cool. I've seen some awesome looking builds using various color shifting paints and stuff. Got some splash chameleon paints, need to try them out. Oh, awesome. Just let me know how those those go for you. They look like they're really cool paints. If I, if I painted with the uh, lacquers and stuff, I would definitely try them. But the, uh, the warning labels on some of those paints scare the crap out of me. What is those splash auto paint sets you got on your site? Uh, what do you mean, what are they? They're just, uh, Splash actually has tons and tons of options for colors for automotive painting. 
And those were some that the uh, the person, uh, one of my sponsored builders, Zero Network, sponsored builders, Zero Network, had requested them when he suggested we carry splash paint. So I ordered those particular colors. I probably won't carry them after they sell out because they don't move very fast. But they're they're basically just other other colors and stuff. There's like you know several hundred different colors in their automotive lines. They're yeah I think they're they're supposed to color match like certain cars, like certain Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and stuff like that. on zero paint? I haven't heard of zero. Am I missing something there? Since that conversation died down, I'll mention it again though. If anybody out there happens to be looking for a job, specifically part-time, although the right candidate, I could see maybe being persuaded to hire somebody full-time. I'm looking for a video person, videographer, video editor, general media, uh, ideally somebody who would be local here in New Hampshire or could make themselves local here in New Hampshire. It would be interested in helping me shoot all our video that we do and various video edits for YouTube and social media and uh, ads and stuff. And uh, ideally even potentially help in the warehouse a bit too. The, the only downside is I can't offer the most competitive salary right out of the gate or crazy benefits other than a really good employee discount. But if you're looking for experience or uh, just really dying to do something related to something you love and maybe get out of a corporate grind or something, definitely uh, hit me up on that. Next build will be 160 scale Mazinger. I'm super stoked. Nice. That's like a like the perfect grade size one, right? About to work for the warehouse by Love in Alabama. Yeah, that's the problem I'm finding. That tons of people have responded and told me like, hey, I'd love to, but I need to work remote. I can't move. And the, the, the biggest problem with someone working remote is I really would like to be able to, A, have someone help me shoot in the warehouse, which is hard to do remotely. Um, but even more importantly is just the, uh, the communication editing cycle. I think communication would be a lot easier in person, at least, you know, it probably could work from home part of the time. But I need uh, I need somebody I can like communicate with in the warehouse on a daily or weekly basis. I think I'll have to seek out some other op options if I can't find somebody. But I'm debating whether I'm better off finding somebody you can work in the warehouse that maybe isn't a gunplay person, 
or if a remote employee or a remote contractor would be better that is a Gumpla person. It's kind of tough. I can't live 31 hours away. I mean, the hard part, even if somebody could do it remote, like I would really want somebody who could maybe be available certain hours of the day or something. This is that turnaround when, when I need an edit or need something turned around pretty quick that is killing me right now. There's a lot of times where it's like, hey, I'd really like to do this right now. But if... Uh, If I have somebody who's working on their own time, it just, it's kind of hard. I, that's not stuff that can be just done whenever. I've got a lot of deadline stuff and I want to be able to turn around stuff, turn stuff around really quick. If you hire a Gumpla person, you shouldn't have no problem selling your products. I mean, it'd be nice to have a Gumpla person. It would make some stuff easier just to have them understand the context out of the gate. Uh-oh, did I put this backwards? I think that one's backwards. Joy. Let's see how easy this comes apart then. Go. That's not too bad. That's good to know. When I go to paint this, I might actually be able to get it back apart. All right. Can't see these over there. I have two arms now. Okay, now C1, 5, and 14. Little smokestacks. First thing is I was gonna do a Facebook ad and just target the same people I target for all my uh, other stuff and get that same audience and I'm sure I'd probably find somebody maybe but Facebook puts restrictions on ads related to jobs the chat rate fell through the floor what's going on people uh, still here Because I shouldn't have brought up a job. Just building and listening. I'm still here. It's interesting. Usually there's something going on. Everything went quiet at the same time. Not the end of the world. Tom Bowen, are you doing Optimus Prime? Yeah, it's the, uh, the G1 version from Flame Toys. Pretty nice kit so far. So 
I get the smokestack. How do I build a rage comments at the same time? It's hard. Yeah, it's definitely a, a different skill. I'm getting better at it, I think. I built a bracer phoenix that my kid abandoned. Well, I was building as well. That's all I do is listen if I have no kids to build. <laughs> Sniper sounds like you need some more kits. Perhaps he changing a diaper at the moment. I do not envy you, Brian. Work on Gustav Carl. I love it. Nice. I got one of those in the backlog. I would looking forward to building that one. This last time for the sake of conversation, but the stream crashed. Was everyone's third favorite? Mobile suit or Gundam? Oh man, don't crash the stream again. Dude, my son peed on me. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. A chance to restock on the 160 GPL 1 FB, or is it completely out of print? I don't think it's out of print. We'll hopefully get some again soon. You see a death battle between Optus Prime and RX 78. I didn't. Where is that? Uh, on YouTube or something? How tall is Optimus Prime? What's the uh, what's the stack up on size? Jared, I have been making gunpla stands out of Benny parts of snake lights, like dollar ones from the Dollar Tree for book reading. Wood bases I paint, then add gunpla store stickers. I made three of Mecha Warehouse stickers. Nice. It's cool. I may order MG Barbatos tonight. New entry nippers. Nice. We're getting low on those. I think I just. Uh, placed or in the middle of placing an order for some more Barbatos. We've got like three left, I think. Unless someone's ordered some in the last few hours, maybe. All right, I got two smokestacks, got two arms. Depends on the series, usually either 16 or 21 feet. So he's pretty small compared to uh, a Gundam. All right, I'm gonna start cutting out parts for the head, but in the meantime, let's do a draw for this uh, uh, Devastator. So if you want the Devastator, let's throw a number in the chat between one and let's do 200 this time. One and 200, inclusive, throw a number in. One number per person, so don't, uh, don't post a second number if someone else takes your number or whatever. And uh, in... A minute or two I will draw a winner sniper says I keep missing Epion being in stock yeah that one's been been out of stock a little while hopefully they'll come around again soon I'm sure they'll come around again I just don't know when I appear to have missed a, the boat on heavy arms maybe so all kinds of death battles usually comparable characters MG Barbatos is my first gun plug to get back into it. Nice. Okay, C1, 2. Numbers are still coming in pretty. Uh, Pretty quick here, F24.
Oh, Haha. Nice save. Almost lost the tiny blue eyes. I'm saying you're nervous because they've been said before. Please do not, Will. You get one number each. Do not post a new number if there is a conflict. I will deconflict. So I'd recommend going through and uh, like retracting any extras that you have because it makes it really hard to make sure someone doesn't cheat when they've got multiple numbers in there. If we get two people with the same number, we'll flip a coin. If there's three or more, we'll draw a random number or something. It's happened a few times. Actually kind of, kind of adds the suspense and excitement. put in there was not even the loop yeah it's the same thing retract if you need to and get one in the right range I'll uh, put time up in the chat in a second here and uh, make a draw and we're up to, to 86 like we're making progress towards that 150 but I'm not sure if we're gonna get there Here we go. Time. Okay, I drew a fifty four. I don't see a 54, I see a couple 53s. If you guys want to confirm, but uh, looks like we'll have to give it another try in a little bit. I fell for one of these. I don't know, Danky. It's a random draw. Okay, I got that part of the face. C1, 4, and 6. This is probably the neck. Close in the kit remind me of the gun cannon kit. Yeah, it's pretty. Close to that really plasticky red. Definitely need to paint this guy. To find a really good shade of like red and blue to use. I think I'm gonna keep it the classic colors. Great plastic seems to clean up pretty well. 
I guess the red's not too bad either. This has no like super obvious nub marks. So that's good. It's a nice perk. Who's first one of the gun cannon or prime? When did uh when did Transformers initially come out? Wasn't the eighties? So let's see. So I want to cut up the C parts first. Nine. Eighty four, then gun cannon was definitely first because gun cannon, uh, the uh, almost a Gundam was what seventy nine. Stream went back, can't see anything. Can anybody else see? Is uh, Corey alone not being able to see? Looks like you might be alone, Corey. You might need to uh, refresh or something. Nine fifteen. I'm back, maybe on my end. Okay, that's good. Optimus is technically 83 since it was a Takara toy before it became Optimus Prime. Some of that lore on the uh, when things came out and stuff is just crazy. I was huge into Transformers as a kid. I had so many of the toys. My parents still have, I think, like my entire collection of toys. My sons played with them. They're, some of them are smashed up and destroyed and stuff. You know when Anima Rise will come to the US? I'm not sure. I wonder if that was, I was contacted by a potential supplier the other day. I wonder if that was on the list of stuff they had. Voltron. I'm not even talking about the lore of like the shows necessarily, which is like all over the place, like you say, Nike, but just like the fact that certain things were toys before they were a show, like when things are created as a toy and then adapted to a show versus a show made and then toys made from it. Just interesting how all that stuff comes together. Voltron. There's a Voltron mini plot kit that I think I can get. <laughs> I 
was like a event exclusive or something that suppliers trying to push. I'm not sure if they still have them, but it seemed like they had a bunch of them. There's a show on Netflix called The Toys That Made Us, and it talks a lot about how the companies worked and how the most popular toys came to be. I think they did a Transformers episode. Oh, man, I wish I had Netflix then. That sounds pretty awesome. I would love to watch that. Especially the Transformer stuff. Optimus is usually called Battle Convoy. I think I've heard of Convoy before. So I see a Transformer statue over there in Japan. <laughs> I've actually got some of the old toys uh, still new in packaging, too, that I got for Christmas. <laughs> some stuff my parents had got for me when I was a kid and never gave to me for some reason. And I found it recently when they were going through stuff. So, Christmas present for me. That's something about Transformers history, and it's complicated, I would bet. The Hello Kitty episode is entertaining. That sounds like that would be. I really need to know more about the whole Hello Kitty phenomenon. Transformers was originally called Diaclone. That I didn't know. I just said Transformers Prime is to the best Transformers series. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if I really watched the show or the movies all that much when I was a kid. Like, I was just so into the toys. I'm sure I, I remember seeing the shows, but I don't think I uh, watched them that much. The clone got bought, and they turned so many toys and designs into G1. Hasbro didn't end the Marvel did. Oh man. Transformers Prime was great. Transformers Anime was also super great. I've all been such feeling like Beast Wars though. I remember Beast Wars. That's probably the one I watched the most of just because of my age when it was out. Being old enough to kind of start taking control of when I watch certain shows. So this will go in the head here. Am I ever gonna get that out now? I guess I'll find a way. that we got a transformers head here optimus's head oh he lost his forehead piece i guess i will get that back out imagine that
All right. Head and neck. Where are we at? 10.08. That the struggles of Gundam getting on the air transformers may not have made it. Interesting. I believe that, though. I think Bulkhead Mainstay from Prime was created and animated. So was a very complicated thing to follow completely kind of like Gundam. I believe that too. Oh man, so it looks like... It's gonna take a while to do the body and the legs. Shoulders. I think that's a nice arc. 78 year building. Timothy, congrats to the upgrade of the warehouse. You're the best. Keep it up. Thanks, Timothy. Really appreciate it. All right. Let's uh let's do this next draw for the uh, Devastator. I'm debating whether I call this is my endpoint for the night. This the chest section is looking very intimidating, and I'm wondering if I would rather sleep. But in the meantime, let's do a draw for the Devastator. Let's pick a number between one and one hundred this time. Remember, guys, say this again. I'll say this every time. One number each. Please don't post another number because someone else took it or anything like that. We will deconflict it if multiple people pick the same number and that's the number that gets picked so uh yeah let's let's draw some numbers here boom those numbers have blew up on the screen there While the numbers are scrolling in here, I'll remind you guys too that that live 10 code is up. We added some new stuff to the site on Thursday and restocks and such. We also have the patches up now. So if you were not Victor or Gumpla Viking and didn't win one of these, you can uh, buy one for yourself for six bucks on the website. These, I don't know, I'm super happy with how these came out. I've got, got one of these on my backpack, and I, I plan on uh, I throw some on a hat. I might do that right after the stream, actually. I've been saving these here for the stream. We have a big restock next week, and I got some other cool stuff that we'll be announcing in <clears throat> maybe like two, three weeks, waiting for some stuff to come in. But got some exciting stuff coming. I might draw this number in a moment here. Outer expungers are nice. I got for you. Nice, Cody. I still need to do that like shootout. I want to try comparing all the different sponges and stuff. What stuff are getting restocked? What new kits are you getting? Actually, I can read that off real quick and then I'll uh, put time in there for this. So incoming. This isn't a complete list and a couple of these might be not showing up. We got the, uh, I'll read off the ones that I know I've checked in so far. Alto ground type, the 30 minute missions kit. We got Haro, uh, green, blue. Uh, we got some panda guys in. We got the uh, uh, Sendetsuken or whatever they're called. So Soketsuden, Haro. We got some other other Haros yet to be checked in. I think some Double O grunts. I think Union Flag, Over Flag. There's some other Double O kits. HG Risers, Seven Sword, Seltzum came in. Some other petite guys. Death Army, HG, Gunner Mark II. What else? 
else. Some different GMs. Another UC grunts. Bunch of different SD kits we haven't had for a while, so a lot of lot of stuff. And I'll be getting more in after that too. Just gotta get through this order before I order some more. Okay, throwing up time. Number between one and one hundred. Ooh, number four. Let's see if they're number four. Any set turn X weapons. Not this time around. Probably in the future though. Three, a two. I think this one is going to be the last one. I don't see any four, so if anyone wants to confirm that, I'm going to draw another number in a moment. You should post like restocks and new kits when they come in on the site. You can post a section of the site that lists everything. So there is on the website a new additions and a restocks page. So you can see what came in in the last week or so, or at least most recently on there um as well what was restocked as well as newly added okay drawing another number number 90. did we get a 90. it's pretty funny if there's no 90. I didn't see a 90 there either. Someone wants to confirm that one. And then I'll draw again. No 90. Okay. I should put a rule in if if uh, if we fall flat three times in a row that no one wins, but I'm not going to do that. Number 43. Third time's the charm, right? So 42. What about 43? Jared Broughton. Broughton, Broughton. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. All right, so we got a winner. So Jared, send me an email at nick at mechawarehouse.com or a message on social media and uh, mention your win. Send me your uh, shipping information and I will uh, get that out hopefully on Monday. Just be prepared to uh, answer some questions to verify that you saw the stream just in case we get someone else try to claim it. He went to Jared's. All right, so we got a winner there. That kid's going out to somebody. We gave away two patches. So same thing goes to you, Victor and Gumpo Viking. Although I'm sure you guys already know the drill on uh, contacting me to win your to uh, claim your prizes. And uh, I'm not sure what else to talk about. I'm uh, a little tired. I'm gonna go chill out for a bit and try to get some sleep. And like uh, Victor says, Gump University, I think he starts up at uh, 1030, I think. So if you're looking for another stream to follow, definitely jump on his stream in a little bit. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else. So uh, thank you guys all for watching. Really appreciate you hanging out the last almost two hours. And uh, I'll, I guess I'll see you guys next week. Same, same time, 830 next week. We'll be giving away something else. And uh, yeah, 